So, anyways, I was saying I was talking about some temptations. And I was, uh. What's I was saying. Make them feel this way? I was saying, raise your hand. And we're talking seventh graders and up here. So, like, raise your hand if you ever known someone who's been tempted to uh, do some to get into pornography or has been in pornography. And one guy, one kid says, What's pornography? <laughs> Like, dude, how am I about to tell you? I'm like, what? Oh, I don't even know. And you know what to say. Luckily, his older brother's there. He's like, I'll tell you later. <laughs> I was like, oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. Yeah, that's crazy. And then they all want to go super hard and try and beat me in ping pong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's one of the most awkward conversations to have with seven beers. So, yeah, it is. Yeah. 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 Well, can you tell them? And then, then they got their phones out. And they think they're like, "Oh yeah, I'm on task. I'm doing whatever we're doing with it. You know, I'm just using my phone to do it." Like, are you really? <laughs> are you really though? <laughs> 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 Hey, dude, I know, like, dude, I'm, okay, I'm still in class, okay, I've been in, like, 20-some years of school, like, dude, I know the tricks. <laughs> like, dude, I've watched anime in class before, okay, I know the tricks, I know. I know. Although, I'd be proud of them if they are watching anime in class, but they're not, they're doing <laughs> other stuff, they're looking at, they're playing Minecraft and stuff, I don't know, they're doing yeah. stuff. I don't know, whatever these kids do these days, you know. Dude, it's kind of funny how we're, like, in the gaming, and we would call ourselves gamers and those stuff, but then, then we're not really, though, like, with, like, what's pop, like, necessarily super popular with some of the newer gamers, like, you know? Yep. Like, we still kind of sound like old men at that point, like, like, Temple Run... What's Temple Run? Oh, yeah. oh, you don't know. You don't even know. I realized that when I, you know, I was talking to the kids. Okay, so I'm also helping out my church now. So the kids were like, yeah, we were playing Minecraft. I was like, I already got my church clothes. All right, what? I was, I was like, dude, I was like, yeah. I was like, yo, y'all need to know about this. I'm like, yeah, I would play Splatoon, but it's only on that Wii U. Yeah, I got a Wii, but not a Wii U. I was like, yo, y'all need to get it. I'm like, nah. Like, it's for kids. Yeah, I'm talking to, like, two sixth graders, or, I mean, two seventh, you know, a seventh grader or a sixth grader that say that we use for kids, you know. <laughs> <laughs> nah, man, I'm into that Mortal Kombat, dude. Let me see somebody's spine pulled out. Yeah, yeah, we use for kids, so they're playing Minecraft, okay. That's, that's what they, that's yeah, that's what they think, though. And then, so, yeah. And, you know, dude. I'm, like, trying to tell him, like, yo, nah, this game is fresh, y'all. Like, dude, he... nicest, nicest high schooler you'll ever meet, this girl. I thought she was, like, you know, like the kids, um, like, we're doing a Bible study. She answers all the questions, you know, do all the stuff. Super nice. Then I hear her talking about, about paranormal activity or something. I was, like. It's like, you don't like horror movies, do you? It's like, yes, I love horror movies. I'm like, dude, what? What's wrong with horror? Hello? 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 You missed my rant. Yeah, and I was like, you like horror movies? And then she's like, yes, I love horror movies. I'm like, dude, you're supposed to be the good kid. You like horror movies. What's wrong with you? Like, horror movies are horrible. I hate them, dude. Why would you want to be scared? I don't, I don't know. I don't get it either. Well, that's not my thrill, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, the only horror movie I watch is called Attack on Titan. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's enough for me, too. Dude, I, I couldn't even, like... Sometimes I couldn't even stop, like, at the end of the episode if it was, like, a, a horror 
type in like a scary type in or like some freaky because I'd have to just get some lighter stuff to stop <laughs> yeah, on. I did like stop like oh, like that first episode. I was like no. Like no. I think you blue fire kind of told me to keep watching. Or I had to do it because it was so popular too. But after that first episode, I just kind of like, mm -hmm. kind of like paused. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then I think I got back to it maybe like five months later. Yeah. Dude. Yeah. But really though. But really though. Dude, so how do these people, like, get to make money off of just ripping trailers from, like, official things, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I do. Like, let's talk about, like, like, okay, Game Explain. That's one of the big, like, news things, especially for, like, Nintendo stuff. But they literally, like, just rip some of these Nintendo trailers and just put them on their channel. Like, the Super Mario Maker thing just came out, like... It said, da da da, you know, new Super Mario Maker stage for Smash coming in. Literally two seconds later, Game Explain has the same trailer. Like, dude, do they not get in trouble for that? I mean, like, do they have special privileges? Because I haven't known Nintendo to give special privileges like that before. Yeah, I'm not sure. I don't know. But I'm just saying, I know people out there like, <coughs> chaos, chaos. <laughs> Who? I don't know, somebody. That would just like that would just like take movie trailers and other stuff and just like rip them and put them under uh, channel, you know? Like, dude, come on now, and dude, are you that like thirsty for some views on your channel? I don't know. Now, the YouTube grind, YouTube grinds hard out here. You know, you start stealing stuff. <laughs> Oh man. Yeah. Crazy stuff. I gotta say that, dude, they've been putting out so much info for the new Batman Superman movie. Okay, what are your thoughts on the fact that they say that Batman has about 54% of the screen time? What are your thoughts? So, pretty much, they're saying that Batman has a bigger part than Superman in this movie. I mean, he's the more, like, if you wanted to get into the mind of somebody of, like, what's happening as far as, like, interesting, like, different perspectives and stuff like that, wrapped up all in one, then it would be Batman. Like, you know, like, for the parts that are helping you understand the plot of, like, what's all going on with the movie, I mean, you want to get in, like, Batman's head more than you want to get in Superman's head, probably, because... Superman is just thinking like, oh, go save the world. Yeah, but I mean, Batman's thinking I mean, like, it's technically super. I mean, it's technically not Superman's movie, but dude, it's technically Superman. Like, you know, we this is, I mean, Batman's new too, I guess. But dude, this this is the first non-Wilson Superman we've had. We've had and now, I mean, fifty-four percent is not like, it's not like sixty or seventy, you know. It's not like Wonder Woman, y'all. Wonder Woman is awesome. Wonder Woman's probably gonna just play slight parts, right? Yeah, but dude, she's awesome. Yeah, I agree, dude. I actually think she might be one of my favorite DC <laughs> heroes now. Let me, now. Let me tell y'all something, all right? They tell, tell them. Yeah, when I was young, when I was young and dumb. Yeah, I first watched the Justice League animated series, and I thought Wonder Woman was overrated. She was, she was, Diana. Yeah, I was like, dude, she's a girl. Girls like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no point to Girls have cooties. Yeah, girls are black. But then, you know, the more, you know, the more I watch that series, it's all over, dude. I'm like, what the woman is awesome for this show. Yeah. And, like, she's awesome. I don't know she's pretty cool. Yeah. Dude, she's awesome. I agree, Wonder Woman is pretty legit, man. They just think that Rogue was just the most awesome superhero, but then I realized that Wonder Woman was taking the 
You know, at one point, I used to wonder, like, I remember I used to watch some of the old X-Men cartoons on Sunday mornings, like, before church and stuff, and, like, or, like, you know, the times when they came on. I used to wonder, because there's a character named Jubilee, and, and, uh, some of them, you remember Jubilee? I'd be like, why is she never in, like, the movies, or, like, you know, the stuff that's coming out? Newer stuff. Dude, there's a reason. Jubilee is just trash, that's why. <laughs> she's just trash. No, I mean, I mean, if you go, I mean, she might, I mean, I'm not saying Jubilee is like actually like trash in the comics because I don't know him well enough to say that. I mean, she might be, I'm pretty sure she's Yeah, 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 but like, if you look back on like that classic X-Men cartoon, like, she was like always the little baby one, you know, that was always just like throwing out her little sparkles and getting trampled on. <laughs> she was like... She was like Gam she was like uh, Gambit's like little sister that little baby sister that didn't even like know what to do yet with her powers. Pretty much. She was, dude, she she needs to be in the Katy Perry uh firework video or something, like she'd be better used there. Than fighting the Sentinel or something. Did you watch X Men Evolution? I didn't really get into that one because growing up, yeah. Because yeah, I was like I said, I was living in India at that time and didn't have kids. Yeah, that one was different. You watched Jackie Chan Adventures yeah, though, didn't you? <laughs> Dude, oh, I swear, uh, my wife's never seen an episode in her life of Jackie Chan Adventures, but she knows some quotes from it because I say it all the time. Jackie, you don't listen to Uncle. <laughs> yeah, you don't like like I did now. You don't like like I did now. Yep. One more thing, Jackie. Dude, I still remember which episode that gave me nightmares. It was the one uh, where Jade went to the temple. I don't know if you remember that one. And she turned oh, into yeah. a monster. Oh yeah. La Chupacabra. That no, one? no, no. I, I remember what, maybe no, it wasn't that episode. That was one where she was a little barking, right? Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. It was one where she like went to the temple or something, dude. That episode was scared the best out of me. I can't remember. Because you know, I didn't think she yeah, because you know now you know when you go look back at a cartoon and then that ending would be okay. You know, I was like, dude, she could be stuck. Yeah. Jade, no! Jade, do your homework! Jade, why you don't listen to Uncle? <laughs> Jade, you must not go outside. It is dangerous. It is not a game. Dude, that was one of those shows that it was cool too because the villains were so OP. Yeah. The villains were always technically better than she was. They were all Oh, yeah. And it was cool because, like, they had, like, their one thing, like, their mission going on, but then, and, like, they're fighting somebody or they're doing something, but at the same time, they had that, like, side kind of main bad guy that was always around, too, that was, like, the, um, uh, what's the name? The dragon. The dragon in his squad. Yeah. Whatever it is. Dude, and when Toru made the Piccolo switch to being a good guy? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> he's, he's cool. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that show is awesome. Dude, it was on Netflix a while too. Oh, but, um, speaking, that might be the same episode I'm thinking of, but when, when they're, um, getting the ox one from that wrestler dude, and he's yeah, like, uh, yeah, and they they get a little kid, and like, 
El Toro is better. Jackie, El Toro, Jackie, El Toro, Jackie, El Toro. <laughs> oh my goodness. They're, they're mess, dude. Oh, did you know that Nickelodeon is coming out with a Just 90s cartoons channel? Yeah. Dude, that officially makes a statement that 90s cartoons are the best. As if we didn't already know. We were talking about Recess the other day, weren't we? Dude, I literally slept on Recess sometimes. It was my alarm clock, but you know. Okay. Dude, the Weekenders? Crazy. That show was awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I know that show. Dude, I mean, we had Digimon, Yu-Gi-Oh, all that stuff going on. Pokemon, of course, all that stuff going on. Then we had all the other crazy shows on Nickelodeon that were super good. Rocket Power. We are riders. On a Rocket Power. <laughs> then we had Jammy Neutron. Uh, that might was that that might have been that was in the 2000s though. So. That wasn't that's good. But yeah, that show was good. There's lots of good shows, man. What were the shows you had to you had to uh, get home to watch or you had to wake up to watch on Saturday morning? Me, it was Jimmy New I mean Jimmy Neutron, Jackie Chan and I would stay up. I would get up for Jackie Chan. Yeah, man. And what else? Oh, Rocky Power, yeah. Sort of kind of drug rats. Because by that time. Yeah. Girl with the animals, what'd she do? Dude, uh huh, what is that show? Um, the Thornberries? Yeah, yeah, there you go. Ah, yeah, they had a, a British accent or something. <laughs> yeah, for me, it was like, that's where I fell in love with, like, DBZ came on every weekday, you know, they also had Zoids and Gundam, Gundam, they had, what? The, why, at the <laughs> Thornberries? Dude, how old were you? Dude, in middle school? Dude, come on now. I was still freaking like wearing these thick frame glasses, nerd. I wasn't even talking to girls yet. Thornberries. <laughs> oh my goodness. The Thornberries kissing up. <laughs> Oh my goodness, dude, that's quite a deal, but back to Zoids, okay, Zoids is awesome. Zoids had the freaking, uh, Liger, oh my goodness, dude, yeah, let's go, Zoids. And Zoids, Chaotic Century was good, too. Oh, dude, we, go, we gotta remember one that was super good, Static Shock. But a beep, but a beep, beep, to be hero. Static Shock, that was awesome. That was another classic. Oh, you gotta say that the, oh, oh, yeah, dude, I mean, I know it's late, but it's really tight, dude, so I would, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, because I had basketballs in high school, dude, literally come home and watch the entire, like, movie, dude, that show is awesome, yeah, that show is legit, and as you mentioned before, Justice League animated series, dude, come on now, dude, you can't beat that, yeah, that show is awesome, too, Justice League animated series, I remember it, like, my dad would be getting on me. He's like, dude, go. He's like, 
He's like, Josh, go to bed, go to bed, or whatever. I'd be like, all right. Like, my deal with them that I made with them was, like, I would go to bed if I could watch, stay up and watch Justice League Animated Series new episode every night. Because it would come on, like, pretty late. Yeah, sometimes, yeah. Yeah. Well, and sometimes, like, I hate, like, and then they had yeah, Justice League Unlimited later, but anyway, uh, I hate when they do stuff, like, with the good shows, like, like Young Justice, for example, where they made you wait forever to get part of it, and then they canceled it, but then they have some of these crappy shows that come on every day. <laughs> yeah. Like, that never made any sense to me. Dude, come on now. Like, Young Justice was better than, like, half of the crap that the Cartoon Network has on. I think the only reason why is because, you know, that's like a... It's like a show where, you, you know, it's like you can't just keep watching it because it's, like, so plot-heavy. But those shows, mm-hmm. you get, like, you know, a little kid that doesn't know nothing to watch it. Yeah. You know, that a kid's got a point. Yeah. Man, what would, what would change with this world if kids actually had to think? Because I think the thing is that you got, you know, there's two types of people that watch it. It's, it's the tryhards and stuff like us. So, so, you know, it's like the same people that want everything. It's also it, like it is, though. Uh, it is, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Like, some kids are just watching it because they're cool, they have superpowers. So I'm like super into the lore and everything. I'm like, yeah, like this guy's backstory is yada yada yada. Oh, this is gonna, and then like you get to the point where, like, like you get with some of the, some of those guys. I mean, we might be some of them, we might not. That like you know, if a certain storyline was gonna happen, then they already know the storyline because it's happened previously in a different iteration or something, you know. Oh, yeah. Well, this is not. Like that. That too, yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, I agree. Dude, I was looking at some 90s cartoon stuff. Jog my memory. Dude, Gargoyles? Come on now. You don't get better than that. Oh! There's this classic. Since you know my brother, there's this classic picture of me and my brother dressed up as Gargoyles for uh, Halloween. Like the Disney Gargoyles. For real? Yeah, he's awesome, man. say certain things or that he does that his friends are always OP or something like that. Yeah. What about, uh, did you ever watch Johnny Bravo? Or The Powerpuff Girls? Dude, The Powerpuff Girls. Dude. What about, uh, Freakazoid? He's so fast, he threw the pass, Freakazoid, yeah, Freakazoid. Yeah, that's a kind of a more strange one. Uh, then you got, uh, what else you got? Oh, Hey Arnold. Dude, that show was better in hindsight, dude. I watched it recently. It, that show is a huge hit, dude. I realized that half of that show just went over our head as kids. Yeah, because I wasn't, like, super big on it at the time. Dude, I thought Doug. <laughs> Peter. Hey, <Doug>. Doug. <laughs> oh, I can't do it, dude. I can't do it. I don't know. 
I know what you mean, though. Yeah, he, oh yeah, he probably good. Oh yeah. One of the creepiest characters in any of the cartoons that has to be the Powerpuff Girl uh, enemy. Him. 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 Awesome. Yeah, he's freaking. And one of the most, one of the coolest shows that I couldn't un explain why it was cool. Really, I mean, because it really shouldn't, like, I was thinking about this recently, it really shouldn't be that good. It's Samurai Jack. Dude, I never watched that show because it, it seemed like it was, like, quiet whenever I watched it. That's what I'm saying, like, yeah, Samurai, you know, Samurai Jack, he's cool, it has cool animation stuff. But then the story and the like, the pacing of it is just kind of weird. But I always wanted to watch it, but then when I watch it, I'm like, why am I watching it? Yeah, that's how I'm it... I think everybody that did that show was being awesome. But whenever I try to watch but it. But it really was wasn't. Like, yeah, dude, it was not. Yeah, it really wasn't, dude. Because I tried to look, I tried to power through some of those recently. But they're not, they're not as good as I remember yeah, dude, them. Yeah, dude, dude, I'm saying, dude, that's how I feel about certain things. Like the first Ninja Turtles movie, dude, I used to watch that movie all the time. Oh, man. Dude, I gotta say, that garbage is so good. I love that garbage. Dude, I love, I love Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie, because I just made re uh, my wife <laughs> <laughs> watch watch that uh, movie because she never watched it. Dude, I was quoting it all day. Oh, say could say go bet. I remember, I remember me and my brother would always be like, pork rind? Pork rind. And we're like, like, we didn't even know what a pork rind was for like the longest time. We're like, because we thought it was so weird. Cause we're like, yeah, what's he, what's he talking about? It was like eating something. We're like, what the heck is that? Pork rind? And, uh, there's some other good quotes in that. Well, I can't say one of them because one of them's a, uh, a, uh, vulgar word. Yeah, I just remember when I Man, you just said that. Man, you just said that because of me. You know I'm a rap fan. Dude, but they had like a huge argument in my church about rap and video. Dude, me and my brother had that argument every day. I gotta say that. I was always a Mikey fan. I don't know why everybody's... Mikey! Everybody slept. Oh, Mikey. Hey, Mikey. You dirty rat. You killed my brother. Dude, I, lo I love that movie. Dude, I love that movie. Oh my goodness, I love that movie. Yep, I got it. Here I go, full KB. Only reason why people ain't hear about me because people sleep. They ask me to open a bunch of bleach and bleach and open. Random quote is random. <laughs> What's another good mo movie that's like that, you know, like, that's like so quote. You watched on repeat? What is it? Bruh. <laughs> the man had so much. Mainly in his, his facial hair just introduced you to puberty. Awesome. Oh my goodness. Dude, that movie was awesome. You got this, dude. Bruh. That, dude, that movie was awesome. Bruh. Sound like Kenny V right now. I don't know. But, uh, 
Yeah, that that movie was awesome. Though. I agree. What about the? Uh, and this is a little. I think it's a little before our time, but I, I watch it all the time. It's the Batman vs. Robin movie. <laughs> Arnold Arnold Schwarzenegger is a freeze, dude. Oh my gosh, dude! Freaking George Clooney is Batman. What the heck? Dude, that movie was okay. When I first saw that movie, dude, I had to think about something. Yeah. Oh, she was creepy as hell. That's why. I know. What's that? Yeah. Oh man, I have one Sonic movie that I watch over and over again, and I never like caught a good Sonic show though. No, no. Yeah, like I said, the early games are the best. And then the Adventure 2 Battle and that, but other than that, they're trash. Yeah, dude, Sonic has the formula to be, like, the last one. Hey, you know, like, just like the Ninja Turtles, dude, this is what you do. Take animals, make them humanoid, and it's <laughs> awesome somehow. Like, don't ask me why. Star Fox, dude, catch what you do that, Star Fox. It's, that, it's, a, it's an animal staying in a friggin' spaceship, so it's like, dude. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Dude, Five goes west. <laughs> it just is, dude. Aristocats, dude. Come on now. Your scales and your arpeggios. The Remy Naga Banana. Thomas O'Malley, O'Malley the Alley Cat. Oh yeah. There, God. Well, the bill. Oh yeah. Dude, did you ever watch Captain Planet? Yeah, dude, I can't Captain Planet. He's a hero. Oh yeah, I remember it. Did you guys Gonna take watch pollution down to awesome. zero. No. Oh, no, I didn't watch it. Oh, dude, I know one, one that me and you both watch because I've talked to you about it before. We're back. Yeah, dude. <laughs> dude, Nightmares. Nightmares movie oh, dude, right there. Listen, dude, at my church, dude, there's like guys that are like, you know, there's like people that are our age, dude. They were going in on that movie. Like one of the creepiest movies. I did oh, movie. yeah. Oh yeah, brain drain carry all. Yeah, dude, that movie was scary. Roll back the rock to the dude, donut. Yeah. Dude, that movie was scary, but for some reason I love to watch it. This same thing here. I watched it a million times and it scared me every time. <laughs> yeah, dude, something about getting scared. I wish, I wish, I wish I were an astronaut. I wish I could fly to the moon. I wish I was... <laughs> But dude, even though it's doing that in a positive way, it's so kind of creepy, dude. It's kind of creepy. And then, yeah. Another freaking creepy movie, James and the Giant Peach. Dude, are you, the bless her soul. I mean, we, I wish, dude, I hated that movie. It was creepy. It scared the mess out of me. Yeah, I hate that movie. Oh, yeah, man. Oh, no, James and Giant Peach. And isn't that the same guy who does, like, the Nightmare Before Christmas yeah, stuff? All his movies are creepy. Yeah, he's a weirdo. The cut, the, the one with the girl. Okay. Dude, that movie was literally just like 
Dude. And speaking of creepy meats, have to watch Courage the Cowardly Dog. Yeah, dude, I can never get into that show, though. It wasn't even because it was scary. It was just that I didn't think it was like that. Yeah. Well, I thought it was good at times, but it could also be creepy as crap sometimes, so I'd turn it off. <laughs> yeah, that show was weird. Oh, oh, yeah. I still dude, have you ever watched The Dark Crystal? Dude, mm -mm. dude you got after. Oh yeah, I have, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, it was. Dude, we gotta talk about. Yeah. Yeah, that was. I think I put it in the dark spot in my mind, but I thought. Right. Yeah. Yeah, the one me and my brother put on rotate was uh Treasure Island. Which one? Muppets go to Treasure yeah, Island or whatever it was. No, that's the one we put on rotate, I said. That's the one we watched many times. The Black Spot. Did you? Dude, I, I don't remember if I did or not. I just remember watching that a billion times. The Black Spot. I've got cabin fever. I think I've got yeah, He's got cabin fever. <laughs> the cabin fever. Yep, dude. Oh, yeah, that movie's legit. Oh, I love that movie. Shout outs. Anybody who loves that movie. Dude, the Muppets are awesome. Yeah, they're good. Yeah, I really hadn't seen a Muppets movie, dude. so. Okay, okay, it's all right, it's all right. Oh. Nah, I just went and, uh, I showed her one. I showed her the Christmas Carol one. That one, dude, that one is okay. Oh, that That's what I said, then she had to watch, yeah. It's technically probably the best version of the Christmas Carol, but still. Oh, yeah, I hate other... Other other ones that do, you know how they always did, like, every freaking cartoon always had to have a Christmas yeah, Carol iteration. There's other, okay, I'm trying to think, what are some things that people always do? They always do Christmas Carol. Always. Oh, I hate um, it, dude. They kind of always. Life too. Yeah, they do. I mean, I would say yeah, they, they do that. Do you think so? I mean, it's not popular as everybody. Those are like the most popular. Right. Oh yeah. Every show did. Every every show did a Christmas Carol version. Dude, yeah, I've heard that story a thousand times in a thousand different ways. Oh my goodness. Oh really? Oh dude, they made that Disney Treasure Island movie too. Remember that? That futuristic one. Dude, there's a random guy. Yeah. It really is. I remember watching it. I don't think it was that good. Yeah. That's probably why. I, that's why I forgot about it. Because like you know, I've seen the Muppet one a billion times. I've seen like all the Treasure Islands a billion times. So you know, it was just you know, it wasn't better than the Muppets. Oh, dude, tell me you've seen Street Sharks. Dude, street sharks are legit. There's like human animal, like you said, humanoid animals, yeah, I mean, I dude. Well, I don't really watching, I mean, the oh yeah. And there was a dinosaur one like that too, where they're like dinosaurs each have powers. Dude, what the heck is the name of that? Oh man, dude, tell me you watch Biker Mice from Mars. Biker Mice from Mars. Uh, yeah, I think a lot of those shows were like trying to be different trying to like, trying to, you know, get the hype from that. Right. So I remember I went to watch oh. my parents wouldn't let me watch it because they were like, What about He Man? He Man. You didn't watch it? Yeah, we've had this conversation before about me not watching it. Okay. Oh, and I probably went off. <laughs> No, I don't remember, dude. I 
What happened? Oh yeah, no, I, no, I freaking dogged you for not watching He-Man. He-Man, do -do 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 -do. I have the power. By the power of Grayskull. I'm Skeletor. <laughs> Skeletor. He had to be the most annoying bad guy in the world. Skeletor was terrible. And then you had Mumra, the ever living. The freak out, did he? <laughs> Dude, he'd, he'd rise from his grave. <laughs> he'd rise, he'd freak out. He would freak the freak heck out. out and turn it, turn it into Mumra. And then there was uh, the female counterpart, since feminism was the thing. And it was uh, his sister, She-Ra. She-Ra, She-Ra, She-Ra. Do-do-do-do-do-do. She-Ra. For the honor of Grey's Call. <laughs> Dude. And they should. It's awesome. Yeah, they tried that, didn't they? Yeah, that was bad. Dude, the old Thundercats was way better. Thunder. Thunder. Seriously, dude, the first one set, dude, the first one set it off like it was about to go down. But then, I know, dude. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, it freaking set it off. I was like, dude, this is gonna be freaking hype. It's gonna have a freaking like sick plot, you know, that we can follow and all this stuff. Like they set it off, and then then nothing. Then it became episodic again. <laughs> Dude, what the heck? I don't know. I mean, it was good back then, but I don't know. But, dude, what about SWAT cats? What? SWAT cat? Dude. <laughs> dude, you never watched SWAT cats? There's no way you've never seen SWAT cats. There's no way. There's no way. No way. I thought everybody I've ever known in my life and loved has seen, has seen SWAT cats. I've never heard no SWAT a lot of cats. Oh man. I'm gonna I'm gonna spam I'm gonna spam your Facebook with SWAT cats then. No squat a lot of cats. SWAT cats. Oh man, I gotta listen to the intro song real quick one time. Probably. Maybe. Dude, it's why I catch it. Dude, what about Johnny Quest? Dude, I know about Johnny Quest. Dude, my dad loved Johnny it's Quest. Dude, are you serious? <laughs> yeah. Dude, I think that I think that was for dads. Yeah, it was. Oh, yeah. No, oh, yeah, man. That's crazy. For the longest time, I never knew what that, what that show was called. I was always trying to like, find out what it was called. Until the movie came out. I was like, dude, that really existed. I didn't look it up. Oh my goodness, dude. We're going to do... No, SWAT Cats is the intro for the After Hours part, dude. It's, that's over. The music there? Dude, I don't even know what SWAT a lot of cats is. dun 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 Dude, that, oh my goodness. Yes, let's go. This podcast is legit. Mm. Jet Rod Jet just put up a selfie in the bathroom pic. Those are classic. <laughs> dude, I love selfies in the bathroom pics, dude. Didn't you always think it was hilarious whenever somebody put that up? Like, dude, I think it was the cool thing to do when I first got a Facebook back in, like, ninth or 10th grade. And then after that, it stopped becoming cool. It looked like you are being a tryhard or something, you know? 
<laughs> yeah, dude, freaking selfies in the bathroom pics. And plus, dude, he doesn't have a front facing camera. I guess some phones don't still, but not that I, not trying, not trying to hate on uh, Jet Rod, you know. He's still the boy. He's awesome. He's hilarious. I gotta say, my life has improved once I added him on Facebook. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Dude, did you ever do a selfie in the bathroom pic? Yeah, I think I did one at the beginning. I think I'm guilty of one. Yeah. Uh, yep, I agree. Dude, I was going back to look and see if you still had one yourself with some bathroom pigs up there. But dude, almost like, I think like 90 to 95% of the pics you have are pictures that were, I was either like right there in the section that's not, you know, that's cut off or, <laughs> or either like I took them or my wife took them. Dude, like literally every picture. So I think, dude, I'm responsible for all of your profile photos. How do you feel about that? Yeah, her too, I guess. Although she's not as cool as me, is that right? Yeah, okay, well, there's also a couple random pigs, but you know. Like that one time where we all made our pigs uh, cartoon characters or anime characters. Dude, my wife wanted to kill me after that because I kept changing different cartoons and characters, and she's like, Everybody thinks I'm married to a cartoon character. Why are you doing that? I was like, chill. <laughs> That's my incognito flow, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, TK boys, if you want to find me on Rampy Sun, you can. No, that's hilarious. <laughs> I'm sorry, Jim, it's a parody of your name. Ramby son. I'm Ramby son. It was because I had a moment of inspiration where I thought I was playing Donkey Kong Country uh, 2 and was playing with Ramby. And I was like, Ramby's cool. Oh, Jamby's cool. They rhyme. Let me make a profile called Ramby Son. That's how it happened. Intriguing story, right? Life, life changing even. Oh, what was that dude that you said? Whatever even. Heaven's the Mercatroid and all that stuff. Like, dude, heaven's the Bat Seed. What was that cartoon that did that? Was it him or was it Top Cat? There was a top. Yeah, because you have a. No, I Yeah, whatever. And then top. He's a man, he's a top cat. And there's another one, top cat. Yeah, that was awesome. <laughs> or, uh, or, uh, secret, secret squirrel. Secret Squirrel? Dude, Secret Squirrel, what's wrong with you? Except for Secret Squirrel, apparently. Dude, what the heck? He had like the purple hat and it's pulled down over his eyes. He had the like, the trench coat. 
never saw his shield, bro. What? What's wrong with you? The most popular ones. You know, they would all be in a game together, be like, yo. And they're like, uh. They'd be like that dog. What do you say, son? Let's go here. <laughs> Oh, what was the what was the classic like? <laughs> Let's go and get another picnic basket. But you'll get the ranger. <laughs> Don't worry, boo boo. I'm smarter than the average bear. Why does everybody know Yogi? Why everybody? But Yogi, Yogi. <laughs> my uncle used to do that all the time, so I can hear it like just like in my head. My uncle used to always do uh, Boo Boo's voice. He just walk around talking like Boo Boo. Oh, hey guys. <laughs> what are you doing today? You need to get up for school. Yeah, that's awesome. Dude, if I looked up Boo Boo in Google, I bet it's like a, a actual Boo or Honey Boo Boo. It sure is. Oh no, Boo Boo came up. Dude, he's awesome. Anyways. Yeah, dude, why does everybody know Yogi Bear? Like, that cartoon wasn't even that good, really. Yeah, it's yeah, but it's just, a, just a classic. What about Duck Dodgers, dude? Dude, I never really watched that. When did that even come on? Duck Dodgers and a 24 and a half century! I don't know, it just came on the random times. What's the other, like, Looney Tunes, but they're tiny? Oh, we're tiny, we're toony. No. What's the, what's the, what's the tiny? What are they, Looney Tunes? Tiny Tunes, there you go. Oh, yeah, man. Oh, dude, Pepe Le Pew. Pepe Le Pew, the, the skunk. The Tasmanian devil, dude. Can we talk about <laughs> Yeah, pretty much, like, the biggest thing I remember about Looney Tunes is Space Jam. Space Jam. Cool. Like, alright, alright, alright. Like, you know, cool, oh yeah. Welcome to the Space Jam. Dude, but some uh, some things I realized like it got a little worse after rewatching it when I was uh, older. Cause, yeah. Cause. Who? Oh. Cause, cause you know, I mean, it's still, yeah, it's some cool parts like the Monstars and all them, but yeah, just, then you had the parts where the dude's farting all over the place and stuff. I mean, it's funny, but it's not like... Yeah. But like, dude, as a kid, I would like die laughing at the guy farting everywhere. <laughs> What about Toy Story? I mean, I, I mean, I guess I love it. Dude, Toy Story to me was one of those movies that was good, but dude, there, there were too many freaking sad parts. Or like Mulan or something, you know, like one of those movies. It didn't really become my like, toy. Dude, that was one of those movies. When you first watch it, you know, I thought it was okay, you know? Dude, that movie was one of the ones that, like, you watched it. Dude, I thought it was awesome the first time I saw it. I, 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 dude, I loved it the first time I saw yeah, it. I mean, I guess I didn't appreciate it as much as I first saw it. I thought it was okay. You know, but it was like, no, it's not better than, you know, the classic Disney movies. Like, you know, 
Mm-hmm. Let's, let's throw out... Yeah, let's throw out some of the classics though, like Sandlot and something. Or Little Rascals. Do you watch yeah. the Little Rascals movie? <laughs> you are so beautiful to me. Alright, dude, it's confession time. Alright, take me take me to the confession chamber. I got a confession to make, okay? It's partly because I know you'll see this footage anyways. But dude, I used to like sing that song all the time. The Alfalfa song. And so there's like footage of me just like... Okay, Josh. Oh, or okay, hockey. Oh, ready, ready, ready. Okay. Uh, sing, sing uh, the alfalfa song or whatever. And then I'd start singing it. And yeah, it's like the whole song. And then you put it on tape. Like my dad, my, my dad put the v VHS in the DVD and then brought it over the other day. So we had to watch it. I was like, no, stop. Dude, that movie was awesome. The He Man Woman Haters Club. Yep, I got a dollar. You got a dollar. Got a dollar. Hey, 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 hey. That movie was legit. Dude, what about Little Giants? Yeah, dude, you ever watch that? Dude, Mighty Ducks, dude. Mighty Ducks was the best movie of all time until you watch it now and you realize how trash it was. Dude, Little Giants is still good, though. I can't show you with this thing on! Oh, dude, yeah, that movie's awesome. Dude. Which movie? First kid. Dude, if you haven't seen that movie, you do you owe it to yourself for that That's one of the best movies of all time. Dude, that's the one movie that me and Mark. Oh yeah, I've oh yeah, I've seen that movie. Oh yeah. This is awesome. Yeah. Oh yeah, man. You like that jig all the way? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I've seen that movie. You gotta watch it again. That's the idea of all of my special movies. And it'll teach you how to rebel, and it'll teach you to be awesome. Oh no, man, I don't know. Dude, this song was like. <laughs> Sounds pretty awesome. Oh my goodness. Oh. How have we not mentioned Balto? I was never a big fan of Balto. Dude, come on. Balto, dude. Balto is awesome. Dude, that movie is awesome. Dude. Dude, are you serious? What's wrong with you? Dude, it was not What is wrong? That's a classic, dude. Balto? Dude, you can go see him in Philadelphia. Or somewhere in Pennsylvania. Do he carry the freaking medicine all the way? He's a beast. Dude, what about Once Upon a Forest? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Or what about um uh tailspin? It's the left your demo but but another tailspin. Did you watch that? Dude, you know it was awesome. Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah, it's awesome. Are they? 
dude. That is random. Chup, 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 and That's pretty awesome. Songs, so pretty cool. That's what made the tape and dumb shoe awesome for Phoenix Wright because we had that hurt. Dude, did you ever watch Wild America? They had that. Uh, not Paul Tate, but uh, Wishbone. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, man. When he had to hold up. Dude, he was awesome because he learned about all the old stuff. Dude, he was awesome because he had that one moment where, like, yeah, like he'd do all the things, he'd learn all the stories. Like, where he held up the world for Atlas yeah. and all that stuff. <laughs> yeah, did. Yeah. And, uh, did you ever watch, uh, what was that thing? What was it? Oh, that's that that puppet one. Dude, I think I had a little like I think either I have one or my mom just got one from a thrift store or something of that stupid lamb chop. It was like puppet. <laughs> Dude, Lord needs it. Lord needs that. Dude, I need to get her a lamb chop. <laughs> oh yeah man oh a classic dude a classic hey you guys dude how is that like a freaking like a, a gangster track intro now <laughs> It's like this crying little white kid say that. Oh, uh, what, dude? Have you ever? Oh, you probably didn't have to watch it. Did you ever see some? Did you ever watch Madeline? Oh yeah, man. The javelin throw. Oh, dude. You must be big. You know, just be... Oh no. Oh, that's not Mad. That's Matilda. Yeah, I know. I know Madeline with the. Oh yeah, with the little stupid hats and all that stuff, dude. No, but you know the one I was thinking of was dude, Matilda. I've never watched that movie for some reason, dude. Everybody you, talks what, about that movie that's our age, but I've never seen it. Oh, uh, yeah. Dude, and also it was uh, awesome. Yeah. I can say that I have a good hair theme song. In my, dude, I still know. I've mean, seen like almost every episode of Cooper Bears, dude. Oh, Lord. I never watched Cooper yeah, Bears. Yeah, sisters, yeah. Dude, it, dude, what was this theme song? It was like, um, someone fast. Like a bird fly. Dude, it's gonna be there when it is. We're doing this, huh? We're doing this, huh? Mm-hmm. Or, um... Yeah, another classic movie is Indian in the Cupboard. Dude, I remember that movie. Dude, I watched it a billion times. Oh, yeah. Dude, was, dude, Me too. Dude, that was another one that we just had to watch a billion times. It was like, wait for the parents to talk about the kids. Mm-hmm. Or, um, Land Before Time. Did you ever watch the Land Before Time movies? Dude, you did? There's that one, uh, song, like, the song's a classic, like, when the freaking, uh, raptors are singing about eggs, it's like, eggs, da 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 eggs, and it's, like, supposed to be creepy and stuff, it's just freaking weird when you look back at it. The big, 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 big water, oh, and the big, 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 big water. <laughs> dude, I, dude, we, we had a... One of my roommates, he had a, uh, 
Like a face that kind of stuck out, so they called him Petrie. <laughs> like that, uh, like the pterodactyl. Yeah, you remember, you remember Kelvanto? They, dude. Are you serious? They, everybody called him Petrie. The Herald noticed him called him Petrie, dude. I was like, oh my goodness. Speaking of those, speaking of those roommates, dude, speaking of Kelvanto, he would always whack me on the head whenever I come around the corner and be like, you're not listening to Uncle? And he'd do that. And those idiots, like, they, like, hid, hid behind some, like, like, okay, no, no, I know what it was. Um, when I came to the room one time, they were standing right there, like, right behind the chair or whatever, and Kevondo had, uh, his hand out, and then Harold and Otis were on either side, and they were, like, charging up the Rasengan got for him, and they were shaping it, and he was like, ah, how do you know they're supposed to be, like, the clothes, and he ran and jumped off the chair, and then, like, hit me with a Rasin I was like, dude, they're crazy. Dude, they're crazy roommates. <laughs> They shot dude, no joke, one time I woke up in the morning, I opened the door. Harold and Kelvin out there are standing there with like the fighter fighting tape uh wrapped around their wrist, like in like poses. I was like, dude, what the heck? Like, dude, what the heck is up right with these guys? <laughs> yeah, he was pretty whack. <laughs> Dude, he did have that one classic rage moment on Lord Byron. Oh, that's a, that's a, dude, that's a classic. And him and Gavin would get up on, like, freaking 8 o'clock on Saturday morning. Dude, we're talking about college here, okay? We're in college. We're getting up at 8 o'clock on Saturday mornings to clean, to clean the dorm. I do. What are? What is wrong with you? They're like, they're like, yeah. I like, I like open my door to be out there cleaning. Like, dude, what's wrong with y'all? Like, what's wrong with you? You don't help. You're not helping. I was like, dude, no, I'm not helping. I'm, I'm not even supposed to be up right now. What's wrong with y'all? Crazy people. Yeah, who clean? I don't know who cleans in college like that. Well, yeah, you don't clean if you don't have people over to your house, I guess. Always, always make me do it. Yeah, you always did. Dude. I think I've been there, known each other for how many years? I've only been over to your house, like four times and like two of them was like dropping you off I remember we watched Batman Brave and the Bold one time <laughs> and I remember another time where we had like everybody there we were playing NBA Jam yeah people people became frauds that's what happens Okay. <laughs> That kind of thing happens, man. Oh. But I think I gotta, I think I gotta get off and work on some of this homework. Keep on going on the grind, man. This has been the TK podcast after the no, nap podcast. Sorry, nap podcast now after hours. Glad to bring y'all some behind the scenes discussion, rambling with me and your boy Rono Trey. If y'all like the after hours stuff, we might keep recording it. We usually do it anyway. I just don't actually put it up, but. Anyway, we'll catch y'all later. Peace. Peace. Alright, see ya.